What's up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I'm going to bring you another gold farm. <clears throat> now, this is a farm that is uh, quite interesting, and uh, that I actually uh, heard of from a different uh, person in a Discord the other day. Uh, or in the Discord, sorry, the gold farming Discord, which uh, a lot of people are generally active in. But today... We're going to be farming for the Decoded True Believer clipping. Some of you may or may not have heard of this farm already. Um, and basically what it is, is you do a quest chain in Silithus, which is not very long whatsoever, especially if you're max level. And uh, you actually get this repeatable quest where you can turn in um, the Twilight Scrolls, I believe, that you get from anyone you kill in Silithus, pretty much. And you can uh, trade 10 of them in. And you'll basically get like a pouch in the mail a day later in World of Warcraft time. And uh, it will actually contain a bunch of different things. But the most important thing is the planes that come in it. Now on my server, the planes that come in it are not very like super ex expensive. So there's no point in me farming them pretty much. But I'm going to show them just for you guys. So that if they are worth a lot on your server, you guys have a chance to make this gold that you might not be making and not as many people uh, have actually tried making this. So we're going to search it up. The things that you can get in the pouch that gets sent in the mail, like in your mailbox, from the NPC uh, can, can like, you know, it can be many different things. Uh, it's, there's a bunch of like random scrolls and stuff that's not good, but there are some good things, which are the plans for like the dark rune uh, breastplate and stuff. And as you can see on my server, it's, uh, it's it doesn't go for a whole lot. Um, like the regional market value average is, you know, way higher than what my server has it priced as. So it's obviously not, you know worth it for me to farm these but see there's twenty two thousand dollars or twenty two thousand gold just for that item so it may or may not be worth it to uh, farm this on your server and uh, they are very good transmog pieces so we're going to teach you how to farm them so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut the video and i'm going to take you to sell this to the npc that sells them you have to do the quest chain first so i'll cut it again and i'll show you where to get the quest to start it and uh, that should pretty much answer any of your questions and i'm going to cut the video now and i'll see you all there all right everybody so we're all right everybody so we're currently at the location where we're going to start accepting the quest uh in silithus so i'm just going to show you on the map we're in centurion hole in kalimdor yeah i said it right this time i am practicing but yep we're basically just going to go right there right there just so you know and we're going to talk to this guy named Hum Wildman, and he's going to give you a quest, and you're going to have to go do his quest chain, basically. And uh, it's a chain between uh, two or three quests, and after you do the first two, another NPC is going to pop up right here, and you're going to take the last quest from him, and that's going to give you the quest to unlock the final uh, NPC that you need to turn in the, um, the <clears throat> encrypted Twilight text. So... While you're doing these quests that he wants you to do, you really want to pick up the encrypted Twilight text that he drops as well because it's going to be way quicker. And I didn't even know people were still farming this spot. But anyways, so, yep, so you're basically just going to fly around here and you're going to have to kill a few of these. And yeah, I'm going to have to steal some of them from these guys, but that's okay. You're going to have to kill some Twilight Geolords and stuff like that. Good old fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video now so you don't need to just sit here and watch me go through this entire quest chain. And, uh, I'm going to cut the video, and after you do all the quests, I'll take you to the NPC. Alright, everybody, we're back. So after you complete all the storylines, um, there's three of them. Uh, you're going to end up at Hermit Ortel, and he's actually going to give you a quest to, uh, find ten encrypted Twilight texts. Um, you can buy them on the auction house for, like, dirt cheap if you want, but... I wouldn't recommend that. I recommend just farming them because the chances of you getting the drop out of it are kind of slim. So if you put a bunch of money into this expecting that you're going to get that out, chances are it might not happen. So, as you can see, basically once you loot 10 of them, you just bring them back to uh, that guy. So, there's many places to actually loot these people, but the easiest that I found is just the Twilight Base Camp over here. So we're going to fly to the Twilight Base Camp. I just wanted to uh, show you guys his location. Also, you do get the achievement uh, for completing part of the storyline in Silithus. But we're going to go to the base camp and we're going to farm um, some of the Twilight Codex. So, 
as you can see I already have one um, right there we're gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of those in just a second once we get to the base camp you can find them at other locations like uh, the Twilight Post and uh, the Twilight Outpost down there uh, but none of them have the sheer density that the base camp does now what you are here there might be some people farming a dead farm I guess still uh, there, there's still people trying to do the Silithus farm even though it like doesn't work anymore but that's okay and uh, you basically just want to sit around and moonfire every uh, person that's uh, has a twilight like name above their head basically and they'll just instant spawn right here and uh, that's why this farm was so powerful in the beginning but so what we're gonna do just just like that that's really all you have to do and then after uh, a couple minutes you just want to loot and then you'll get some text off and we also get some of this this stuff but um, most of that, most of the prices on all that stuff is like ruined on the auction house now. So you're just gonna want to go through and loot all these. If there is a monk or something getting busy over here, just go to the opposite side. And if it's too busy, just obviously go to the twilight post or outpost. It's definitely not gonna be as lucrative, but you are still gonna be able to kill a bunch of them. So it will still make everything quite easy. Uh, you can pick up the rune cloth. I think the rune cloth cloth prices have been super inflated too just because of the farm that used to once be here and yeah so really not anything else would be worth picking up unless you do get one of the glorious pieces but I don't even think that like there's a chance of that happening because you're level 100 you have to be 58 and yeah so that's I mean this is literally all we do we just sit here and we AOE we AOE and we AOE more uh, you can pick up all that stuff if you want, if you do pick it up, uh, chances of it selling on the auction house might take a little bit. Obviously, after you do, the biggest part, you guys are probably going to think this is like a scam or something at first, but after you do pick up the, uh, the 10 that is required to turn into the NPC, um, as you can see, I've got 4, after you do pick up those 10, when you take them to him, he says he's going to mail it to you in a day or two, and it actually will be mailed to you, so... You're going to have to check your mailbox, like if you sit here and farm this all day, you're going to have to check your mailbox um, a day or two after, and then you will receive all of the packages. And uh, after you get those, you can open those up, and you have a chance of getting some decent patterns that are actually worth a, worth a decent amount of gold. Um, other than the patterns, though, that come in it, there's not a whole lot that's super uh, expensive, I'd say. Uh, as you can see, I'm just kind of picking through the loot, because we only need 10 of them. And what I could do is just get all these off this guy's thing. Yeah, just like that. So, go ahead and get all these. Yeah, see, there's enough for it. So, see here, make sure I got enough. All right, I have 10. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to fly and we're going to go turn it into the NPC just to show you guys exactly everything. And this is worth nothing. So, keep auto fly on. And then we'll just go ahead and fly to um, this guy if we can find him. Which cave was he at? So you don't have to take the decoded tablet to the one guy that's not necessary. We need to go here. Hotel's hideout. Yep. So after you do get enough, you go to this hideout right here. I had a little bit of trouble finding it, but it's right there. So once we get there, we're going to be able to turn in all the uh, decoded text and all that good stuff. And uh, I'll read everything out loud for you guys so you know where it's at. Uh, you can leave the video now if you don't want to see this part because this is kind of just what's going to happen after you get 10 and uh, if you like the video please like comment subscribe down below it really helps me out uh, also check the links in the description because I got some goodies down there for you guys just for you and uh, yeah that's it um, thanks for watching I love you all now we're gonna turn these in so we're gonna go in here Good day to you. we're gonna switch out form and then as you can see here he said it takes times. Keep bringing them here. All that stuff. And then you'll get it in the mail. And, uh, yeah, that's that's about it. It's, it's kind of like a, a story, kind of cool quest kind of thing. So when you do get it in the mail, it was supposed to shock you back in the day. But, obviously, people figured it out now and I've done it. So, yeah, that's going to be it for the farm. Remember, if you liked, like. If you subscribed it, subscribe.
if you disliked it, also like, because it helps. And I love you all, and I will see every single one of you beautiful people in the next one.